did have one question that had come in uh, prior to the meeting here about um, transactions on the historical age trial balance that are showing up. Um, you know, they show as paid, but when they run that historical age trial balance, it's still showing up as an outstanding document. Um, and this can kind of apply to both payables and receivables. Um, I think it's more common on the receivable side to see something like this. Um, so I'm going to focus there. But just know that, you know, very similar things can come up on the, um, on the payable side. So with the receivables historical age trial balance, the biggest thing to remember is that this report is looking at the information at a specific point in time. Um, so right now I've got this report set up to run um, as of February 1st, 2018. Um, and what we should see if I print this report, uh, that's the multi-currency one that I don't want. Uh, oh, excuse me, this is a summary. I want to print it. Yeah, it should be printing in detail. Okay, well, so what I'm seeing is I do have this amount outstanding in my current uh, bucket for $13.37. Um, so if I actually, for this vendor, or excuse me, this customer, um, oh, this is summary for all of them, it's not showing. So I've got this customer set up the uh, hat beat test. So let's go and look at uh, the transactions for that customer so we can see kind of what's going on. So we can see here I've got um, an invoice out there from January 15th, and then the payment uh, was made on January 31st. Um, but when I run that historical age trial balance as of February 1st, uh, I'm still seeing that dollar amount showing as outstanding. Um, and the thing to really be aware about uh, with the historical age trial balance is it's always running based on the date that the transaction was applied. So even though both of these transactions fall before uh, that February 1st date that I was running, if I go and look at um, the payment transaction and drill back on the amount remaining, I can actually see that they were applied on February 2nd. Um, so now it's probably, from a business logic perspective, not a lot of reason that that would happen, but I have seen scenarios where that apply date does get changed um, during the application process. And so that can really affect um, what shows up on that trial balance. Um, you know, the, otherwise, just be aware of if you're running that date or that trial balance with a date in between when the invoice was issued and when the payment was received, you know, that invoice is obviously going to still show as outstanding. So it's really important um, when you come across those kind of issues where you've got something showing up on the trial balance that you don't think should, um, pay close attention to those dates and also the total dollar amount applied. Um, sometimes if it's like a partial application or maybe that invoice isn't actually fully paid, uh, it can still show on that trial balance report. Um, and I know that's kind of just general information and it's hard to know if that's gonna apply to a specific scenario that you might come across, but those are the key areas to really look at is the dates of the original transaction, the dates that you're running the trial balance report, and then keep an eye on some of those options that are used as well um, as far as, you know, showing fully applied and outstanding amounts. 